Hi, Ronnie san, I'd like something made with pumpkin. Thank you. If you wanna know what's cooking, watch Ronnie Ronnie 999. Hello, everyone. So today I'll make something sweet with Japanese pumpkin called kabocha. Let's make sponge cake first. Melt the butter. Lightly beat the egg. Add granulated sugar. Replace the butter with egg mixture. It's like you dissolve the sugar and keep mixing. And the temperature of water is around 100 degree Fahrenheit. Put the butter back in place. Now I'm going to use electric mixer and beat it until it becomes very yellow. Sift the flour. Fold in. Add in the butter. Lemon zest. I like to have some lemon flavor. Pour the mixture into heat resistant container. Drop it a few times to get air out of it. In the oven. Here's a couple just squash. Scoop off the seeds. Put this in the microwave for about three four minutes. You can use a skewer to check out if it's soft enough. It's just easier for me to remove the kabocha peel like this. Mash the kabocha. Strain through a sieve. Split the kabocha paste in two. Let them cool. Meanwhile, I'll make some whipping cream. I've done this tutorial several times on my sweet video, so I'm not gonna explain it. Using heavy cream, sugar, and vanilla extract. I think you guys know how to make it anyway. I made a stiff peak this time. Cinnamon powder, lemon juice, mix it. Yeah, it's cinnamon flavor. On other half, I'm going to mix with whipped cream. Now we have two different kinds of kabocha paste. Oh, sponge cake is ready. I like the slightly lemon scent. Mm. Once it's cool, spread the cinnamon lemon flavor kabocha paste. Whipped cream. Pipe the kabocha cream. I use some pear to make the strange face. It doesn't look like Jack, 
It looks some kind of new animal. But today's customer was Danisa. Thanks for ordering. うまいよ。僕レモン風味のケーキがすっごい好きなんで、美味しいですやっぱり。あとはいいと思う。ちょっとイメージと全然違うものができてしまいましたけど、もうちょっと可愛い、可愛く作りたかったんですけど、難しい